Sorry, I had to redo this video. Um, today I'm doing an interview on Planet Hulk. This movie is so good. I said it kind of weird. You might say it mean weird. I mean, like, I just didn't say it normally. Um, it says, Will he save their world or destroy it? Very awesome. Even has some aesthetic shirt right there. The artwork, I think. Is that Alex Ross? Does that say Alex Ross? That says Alex Ross. That is so cool. I did not know Alex Ross to do that. I'm not surprised. Well, I am a little bit because Alex Ross is a pretty popular artist. Well, comic book artist. Um, but, yeah, when I think about it, yeah, that looks like Alex Ross type of work. I just didn't think about it. Um, yeah, very cool. Um, I like the cover. The cover is really awesome. I need to buy some Blu-ray. Definitely. Very awesome movie. I said I'm gonna I said, this time I've been like, you know, focusing on buying Blu-ray, but I should. Um very awesome movie. Um let me see. A lot of comic characters in it. Comic book characters in it. Um this it does follow the storyline I think pretty well. I haven't read all the comic books of Flynn Hall, but I read a lot of them. Um I read a lot of the story and stuff. I hope to do continue it, you know, do war War World Hulk. That was an awesome comic book series, so they should do that. But this, though, I think follows the storyline pretty well. They did make a lot of changes, so it would work for the movie and stuff. But yeah, very awesome, though. Um, the comic characters in it is Iron Man, Doctor Strange, Mr. Fantastic, I think. And a couple other people, I think. But that's just because there were the... That was just for a short scene, though. Like, Iron Man's the one that talks, even, for that one part. It was just them, you know, talking, saying, we're very sorry, Bruce, for doing this, and it was the whole video thing. But it's very, very cool, I thought. Um, they also have a couple other characters you can see while he's in the arena. You can see some characters in there. Like, well, hey, that's that guy. I noticed a lot of characters in there. Like, a ton of characters. He was looking in the background and stuff. They hide a lot of characters in there. It's pretty cool. Um, just gotta give it a look. There's, like, tons and tons of characters in there. Um, let's see what else. There is also instead of Silver Surfer, sadly, it would be nice to see Silver Surfer in this. But instead of Silver Surfer, he fights Better Ray Bill, which I thought was cool though. I did like that. Thor is in this also. There was a flashback and Thor was in it. And actually, the flashback is going back to Thor issue one. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and there is some references to Planet. Let me call it um, Hope versus Thor. There is a couple references to it, like, um, he's all saying, like, um, uh, Asgard screams of your rage, something like that, talking about the Hulk versus Thor, so that's pretty cool. Um, I don't remember who else did in it, but it's really good, though, I really, truly recommend it, I don't know, truly, I don't know why I said that, I don't get that. I see some things sometimes, and I just don't understand why I said that. Maybe, cause, I don't know, maybe, it's like, it felt like it was the right word to say, but I don't think I know what that really meant. <laughs> I see things that I don't know what they mean. <laughs> I'm not, I don't really know everything it means. Um, but yes, a really awesome movie. Um, I definitely recommend it. Um, if you're a fan of Hulk, fan of Marvel, uh, even if you're not, it's an awesome movie. It's a cartoon, of course. Um, even for a cartoon, this is so, so good. I think my friend cried watching this. I don't think I cried. I thought it was very sad, though. There was a scene. Um, if you don't want to know what the scene is, you want to watch it and find out. But if you want to know, it was the scene where um, the girls are holding the little girl. And the bomb went off. And then the girl turned the ashes in her arms. And she started crying. That was She started screaming and crying. And stuff. That was so, so sad. I don't think I cried, but it was really sad, though. I think my friend cried, though. No, he told me, I think he told me he cried. It was really, really sad. Oh, so sad. I think my other friend thought it was more sad. I don't think he cried, but I think what my other friend thought it was sad. Yeah, very sad movie. Very awesome and sad. So it has a lot of the emotion type of stuff in there. Awesome. Awesome is emotion. <laughs> um, but yeah, very, very cool. I definitely recommend it. A scale 1 to 10. No, because it's so awesome. I'm going to give it a 9 because it's awesome. 9, yeah. And I think Batman Unread Hood is way better than, well, way better, you know, 
right above it, you know, 10. Did I say 10 for that movie? I think I get 10 for that movie. So I think I give this a... No, I say 9.5. 9.5 for this movie. Let's look at what it is. It's right below Batman on Red Hood. Very cool. Definitely recommend it. Um, pretty much it. You should watch it. Like the video below, and then comment, and then subscribe.